I guess we are live. All right. Uh, welcome, friends, to uh, a webinar of Bombay Stock Exchange Group is Forum BBF. On a topic which is very contemporary, which is going to hit us and the entire market by next week. We have with us uh, uh, members, uh, 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 representatives from the claim corporations, from the stock exchanges to take a question and an answers in the end. We'll go through the issues. We'll try to answer, preempt all the questions, try to answer them. And then we'll have a, a Q&A session as we always do. And we start on time and once more we start at time. So today's agenda is to have a little overview of the entire allocation uh, business. Uh, the penalties that are kicking from uh, next week. And then what are the compliance and operation implications to be a little more aware, especially given that uh, uh, yesterday, today, the, uh, the CC cycles are still flowing in. Why are we doing what we're doing is something that's always nice to uh, get in context. So everything is flowing from the CV cycle of 20th July 2021. Uh, which is uh, uh, which was issued around 21 months ago, and uh, various other CC circulars were issued after that. Now the circular targets two issues. Uh, one is the para 11, and one is para 16. Para 11 says that one client fund should not be used for another. How much to allocate minimum maximum, which is also referred to as a, a top band, lower band, upper band, something like that. And then. Para 16, that all positions are backed by sufficient margins, which is goes over and above MG13 and MGTM. Uh, Ujwal, can you please look at the uh, mics which are on and please handle it? Now, yes, we do. Yeah. Now, for paragraph uh, para 16, the penalties are in place and something we are all very conscious about. But there's also para 11, but we'll take it up in an, uh, another time and another occasion. Now, what is para 16 reproduced? We have to ensure that the allocated collateral and the security repledge is greater than minimum margin. If it's not, then there's effective deterrent mechanism to be done by the CCs. And that's what the CCs are doing. They're simply following the CV circular. If, if anybody believes that uh, or stay, makes a statement, ki CCs ko penalty la ke maja hai, no, they're simply following regulatory instructions. So penalty structure so far, the whole, the live allocation environment, they started in May 22. Then we had three months where there was no penalty uh, till July 2022. We're testing, we had, before that, we had UAT systems for a few months. We always complain that UAT is just HLR and HLR so and so forth, but no problem. We had live systems for three months. After that, from August 22 till April 2023 till today, we have penalty only for end of day shortages. This was going to kick in uh, uh, in February. Uh, uh, it was going to kick in uh, two months back. Then we got an extension. Hey, you want more time? Take more time. And the entire day penalty starts from May 2023. Uh, that is next week. Now, people say SEBI circular gets applicable on May. That's a technically incorrect statement because SEBI circular is already applicable since May 2022. However, the penalty was waived because the circular is applicable. This is something the MIs keep. Keep on throwing it a face, so I thought might as well uh, bring it to the attention of the members. So technicality, and since we are part of operations and compliance teams, we love technicalities. So what will happen from 2nd May? The CCs will take an intraday segment, uh, intraday snapshot segment-wise, and they'll calculate what is the minimum uh, margin required at that point of time. And then also see what is the amount allocated plus Z plus securities value given by CC with after deducting the prudential limits, but not subject to 50-50 at that point of time. The minimum margin would be in 20% case of cash segment and uh, span plus ELM at the BOD parameter so that the margin doesn't increase during the day for all the data segment, the minimum margin requirement. Now, this 20% of cash segment, that is a relief that it, that has been declared yesterday that any spillover margins of the previous day, this pain pay out nahi wa, that will be ignored for the purpose of calculating the minimum margin due for allocation. So if, if somebody has a buy securities on Monday, so on Tuesday morning till pain uh, gets over, that margin gets reflected, that margin will not be a part of the allocation requirement. 
So that is a huge, huge, huge relief from operations point of view. So this is how the minimum margin will be calculated. But if we are, if we look at the RTRMS, NMAS, or the, the CC systems, they will not show minimum margin. They show the actual margin at the rate. So they will not show margins at BOD parameters. They will not show margin at 20%. They will not ignore the cash segment. So that is something which will not be available on a real-time basis from the claim corporation. That is something we need to calculate or have a good judgment of. So this is something, the first thing that really we really need to keep to keep the mind. margin boss. It's your client, it's your position. Your front end better know what the margin is. This will be most critical in the cash segment and slightly in the data segment too. Now, oh, after the CC cal or calculates the snapshots, they will calculate the minimum margin. Then they will calculate shortage, if any. If you have more allocation, nothing. And we'll be downloaded a file key, boss. shortage. But just because there's shortage doesn't mean there'll be penalty. So you uh, some shortages are way for penalty because the regulatory uh, mind, uh, regulatory uh, uh, teams are clear. Okay, there are some genuine cases which is not, which is merely operational. Now these waivers, some of them are automatic and some have to be requested. In case of automatic waivers, kuch nahi karna, CC will calculate. For some, we have to submit a request with reason codes. Now, these reason codes are different across claim corporations. Uh, for example, some reason, one reason code is uh, across segments, but then uh, the uh, commodity claim corporations are single, single segments, so that's not applicable. So there'll be some small change in nuances, the small change in numbering across segments and uh, uh, exchanges or CCs, but the basic logic is the same. And it's coordinated by all across all CCs by SEBI. So, what is the process? What are we going to be doing on uh, from for, uh, from next week? Step one will download the shortage file. In the shortage file, there will be some intraday shortage or some EOD shortage, and or or maybe none. Have good news. If there's shortage, then first we have to figure out: Hey, will this shortage be automatically cleared by CC? If yes, great. Kuch nahi karna, chill. But no. Then you have to see, is there any of the shortages where we have a reason code for request for penalty waiver? If yes, then we upro, up, uh, upload the appropriate reason code and amount to the CC. If no, then fund your accounts to pay the pay of the penalty. Now, automatic waiver, I believe, is only one. If you are a self claim member or a claim member, sorry, if you are clearing through the same segment, a same claim operation, across various segments, then it will be uh, considered and the penalties won't be charged will be waived. And this is applicable for both EOD and inter shortages. So then example, suppose there's a broker who's a self paying member of in cash and FNO ICC, say. And a client A has EOD shortage allocation of 100 rupees in the cash segment. The same client A has excess EOD allocation of 200 rupees in the FNO segment. There's nothing that we need to do. No penalty will be charged, both for end of day and intro. The CC will calculate, well, this is clear. So this is the only auto waiver that I'm aware of. I, this is my request to CCs. All the waivers should be auto because we already have the data. But as and when you develop the system, please let us know because this is all uh, effort. Incidentally, one of the options I believe was tried uh, for the T plus one uh, uh, margin spillover is should we put a waiver code? But CC said, Ki, boss, everything is waivable. Then you'll keep loading codes. Then you'll make mistakes. Then we'll have to check. It will be a mess. So we'll calculate the So it is, even that is in a way a form of auto waiver. And this is the second auto waiver. Everything else is reason codes. Now, CCs again, various numeric uh, waiver reason codes, which are different across segments, across CCs. So instead of putting those numbers uh, in our presentation, if you have put A, B, C, D, uh, to because they are common, and then uh, when you load, obviously you use the right reason code uh, with, depending on the CC from which you're clearing. So let's go for reason A. Reason A is excess collateral available in other CC. Now this is applicable both for the EOD and intra shortages, and it is available for all segments: cash, derivative, uh, yeah, electronic gold receipts, CGRs, or jewelry segments. Are so pay applicable. So give you an example, a client A has a short allocation of rupees 100 in NCL for the EOD. 
and the same client A has access allocation of 200 in MCXC CL EOD. Now NCL will send a report, boss, your client is short 100 rupees. We have to load a file to NCL mentioning boss in MCXC CL, Mira excess or pay padawa tha. Now, of course, uh, the CCs have a backend way of checking ki bahut padawa tha ki nahi, and then penalty will not be charged. But we need to upload this file. They will not come to know automatically. Now let's look at reason. Value for security sold for which EPI has been done by end of day to CC. Uh, a request to the claim corporations. If, if at any point of time you believe that I made a wrong statement or an incorrect statement or something needs to be clarified, please just uh, chip in. Uh, that, that will be helpful. This is our understanding based on discussion, but then presentation I think tend to go wrong. Now this happens because, you know, now there's a general allocation, uh, 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 there's a risk of collateral being used up by the delivery sale. I'll explain with the example. And uh, then there's a case, cases of early payment and depository after CC cutoffs. For this, we have to use this uh, example, but let me take uh, some example. Now, say we have allocated 20 rupees to client B in the cash segment. Very good. And he has purchased uh, securities worth rupees 100 at 11 o'clock. No problem. 20% of 100, I'm fine. Now, gentlemen sold another set of securities at 1 p.m. <laughs> and we did early payment by 5 o'clock. No difficulty. Now, CC says, why? Your intra margin was 20. Top plus two uh, position. It was 40. So that's 200 into uh, 20%. Sorry, there's a little typo here. And you've allocated only rupees 20. So why? Why 20 shortage? Now, for this, we'll have to use the reason code B and say, was 20 rupees our uh, reason code is reason code. And I'll take it a bit different. Uh, okay, this then example B2. Now he sold securities worth rupees 100 at 1 p.m. Early pain was done at 10 p.m. Okay, where all the CC cutout time was over. CC says, why the intraday be short, EOD be short, because they have not taken that into account at that point of time. That case, again, we use this reason code, say, was deposit system. Again, CC will check, deposit system has not been done, so it will not be done. Now, B3 is where we go across segments. So, you have allotted 20 rupees to client B in the cash segment, and client B took position 20 in FNO, no problem. Because uh, auto waiver mein aisha tha tha. but then the client B also sold securities worth 100 rupees in the cash segment and did a pain at 5 o'clock. So again, CC will say that was FO may be super short hai because your cash yeah. tha, wo used up. EOD is auto clear in 2020. So I'm ignoring for this example. So then again, we have to use this uh, reason code and say why. Uh, 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 early pain ka matter hai, isko wave ki chai, and then penalty will not be charged. Now move to the next reason, trades executing wrong code. This is where we all make a mistake about error code. Remember, we need to, abhi, the current stand of the CCs is, if any trade moves to error code, before the trade moves to error code, we need to allocate uh, sub submission margin to error, even though it is quasi-pro. We have requested to CC to boss wave it off here. And CCs may and may not consider a request, but as on today, that is the stand. Now, this reason is available only for intra shortages because end of day, it is assumed that all the errors will move to error. Uh, all the error code trades will move to the error code. And again, it's just for all segments. Example helps. Suppose I purchased stocks worth rupees 100 in client C. Well, oh, oh, this is wrong. Then we shifted it to error code and then squared up in the error code. Now CC says for client C, there was an intra short of 20 rupees. If a snapshot happens at that point of time when the code was lying in that code. This is where we use this uh, reason code and say, why wave karo uh, and then penalty will not be charged. Now moving to the next one, trace done on behalf of NRI clients. This is obviously appli applicable to NRI PIS portfolio investment scheme clients. And again for EOD and intra, but only for cash segment. Because in uh, FNO segment, they go into NRO and in NRO, uh, just like an interesting account. So, 
Again, example always helps. NRE PIS client D purchased securities for rupees 100 on T day. Then the, uh, the bank, the authorized dealer, I believe that's what they're called. We, uh, we send them the contract note. He transferred 100 rupees to the broker on T plus one. Pain vein ho gaya. But for T day, CC will say, boss, the client D, there's a short of 20 rupees for both inter and EOD. And there we'll say, boss, uh, please give me a waiver under this code because this is a NRE PIS account. And then penalty will not be charged. There are a couple of more reasons. I'll go through them, uh, three, four of them. Now, this is uh, allocation request submitted to CC, but allocation respect, uh, uh, request uh, accepted later. This will happen now. Nowadays, the CC responses are pretty decent, but then as the load goes up, we don't know how the systems will be here. Now, remember, this reason is only for inter shortage because it is assumed that by end of day, obviously, all the allocations requests will be processed. And again, this is for all segments. Example, we sent an allocation request to CC for 100 rupees for client E. And immediately, we gave a limited front end. Now, CC process in two minutes, 1102. But the snapshot was taken at 11.01. The CC is a vice, 20 rupees intraday allocation short. Uh, e, kya then we'll uh, upload a file giving this season code. Ki please wave kar dijiye, kyunki ye hamara nahi. Now friends, you'll, everything, we, every viewer we request for, CC is going to check in the systems. Ki does it deserve to be waived? They will see a file kitne mujhe aya. They will see file kitne mujhe load kiya. Everything is time stamped. So, uh, if, if it's a file, API, of course, has a different uh, process. But based on timestamp, they say, okay, this is a genuine case, we'll waive it or we will not waive it. So, yep, this is what it is. Now, next is securities are replaced by CM to CC, but not yet processed by CC. Now, remember, it is not TM uh, client uh, to TM, it's not TM to CM, it is CM to CC. And again, it is applicable for only for entire shortages and for all segments because by end of the day, everything is processed. That's the understanding. So let's go for example F. I, uh, as a, a clearing member, sent a replace request at 11 a.m. for securities worth rupees 100. Let's assume it's a self clearing member for client E. And uh, immediately, and give the limit in the front end of 100 rupees. Client A took a position of 60 rupees worth of margin. No problem. Now CC confirmed the replace after two hours and the, but gave limit of only rupees 50 because prudential limit hit over here. Possible. Now CC will say key at 11 of 01 or whenever the snapshot was, there was an entire shot of 50, 60 rupees. Now, unfortunately, we cannot ask for waiver of entire 60 rupees. We can ask for waiver for only 50 rupees. And on 50 rupees, penalty will not be charged. On 10 rupees, it will be charged. This is how this is going to work. So, replash is something where the valuation, you have to, we have to be very careful. For all you know, CC gave you zero limit because it was an item which was already a quota was full used up. So, for 10 rupees, bachane ke liye kya karna padta? 10 rupees, ke liye, you would have to manually allocate 10 rupees from your pro capital to the client. In anticipation, ki kali 50 mujhe milne wala hai. Or better still, if somebody would take a very conservative view, bolo, mujhe replace hi nahi karna. Jo bhi client aega, mein pledge shake rakhunga, aur saadhe teen tak own se usko allocate karta rahunga. Saadhe teen bhi jab, jab baja band hua, aur five in case of currency or whatever the second. Phir mein replace request bhi hunga. Based on kitna replace aya, mein hiya pe apna cash allocation kam jada karunga. That is one way you can look at it. Because it almost becomes like uh, uh, unapproved securities if it is not placed from the but this is what the requirement is today. Now, this is another reason which, uh, which comes in because of intra API, well, the pain done basically by the marginable CP code at the end of the day. Now, again, this is for intra and for cash segment. So let's look at the situation where a marginable custodian settled client purchase securities was rupees 100. That's client G. Custodian confirmed by end of day. Ah, bhai, thik, I took up the trade and everything. CC is the end of day to zero. Hai. Interday bhai, iska kaan gaya. Then we have to ask for waiver. Bhai, sab, wave ki jiye, because the custodian settled there. This is under this client. This is reason code. Now, 
again, uh, the CC will check whether actually there was a custodian, there was a confirmation or not. Now you'll notice all of these uh, examples in theory can be auto automated by CC. And this will be my request uh, as a broker association representative to CCs. Jitna automate kar sako, please karte jaye. Because you know this client position was there. You know it was taken over by the custodian. Why should I calculate the code? Why should you check? Just wave it if you can. Obviously, making systems take time, but please do work on it. So these are the reason codes given by the CCs. <clears throat> this is the explanation of the reason codes. We'll take you in on that, of course. Now, so what are the now we've tried to list what are the major changes that were that uh, the major changes that will come from second May for us. First is purchases against delivery sale will change. Today, what happens, most brokers are given uh, the system CNC 80% limit immediately front end. De deta hai. This won't work like this anymore. There is going to be, unless your front end is so intelligent and, and you have unlimited money, frankly, uh, for to allocate. Ki client sold shares worth rupees uh, 100. Immediately, your software will go into the uh, CC system using API and tell me, sir, what allocated hai? Was 40 allocated. Take a 40 pay 80 or Jordo or 120 allocate Kardo or front end with 80 limit. They do add Kardo. This is what uh, every front end is supposed to do. I doubt how many front ends can do that. Now, even if your front end can do that, that fellow sold the shares, he doesn't want to buy. But you are busy allocating all your pro limits to him. You'll run out of limits after some time. If a big HNI comes and uh, say Mukesh Yamani is your client and he says, Boss, I want to do a block deal. And you know, we have 10,000 crores come all which are your code in Lelia. The Alka Sophos could 10,000 crores allocate in the Kushish Kariga was. I'm sure you are a big broker, but that would really challenge you a lot. So I don't know how it will work. It depending on your business model, each one will have to figure it out. The second thing that will happen is the uh, EOD based margin allocation won't work. Much. Many brokers claim members what they do, entire client money, they put it with CC. But they allocate only to the extent of margin due. Everything else they keep as unallocated with the CC. All right, this is fine for EOD. It was working. But intraday, mein, this will not work. Because there's no reason code which says that client's money was lying unallocated. So probably all of us will have to move to ledger-based allocation. There's no other way of uh, uh, anticipating what the client will uh, trade. Or in a or in a different word, basically whatever limit you're given in the front end should tally with whatever limit is there in application. That would be a rule of thumb, actually. Uh, moving to another issue, payment gateway. Many members have given payment gateway facility. You make a payment a payment gateway and you'll get the front end limits. Again, this is possible only if your front end is capable of processing the allocation request real time the way uh, we described previously. Otherwise, you get, end up giving limits. You won't be able to allocate and third karke penalty lag jayegi intraday ka if your bad luck and the snapshot file intraday is done at that. Another issue is for trading members, their PCM systems is very critical because if your PCM is strong, I mean, you have to send your allocation request to the PCM, the PCM will send to the CC and it will move back in. If the PCM systems fail, they are slow, there will be a penalty. Then you say PCM, it's your fault. PCM says, no, uh, it's not my fault. I told you my TAT is two hours, five hours, whatever. So this is this is something that may uh, affect us all. And CCs will say, between TM and PCM, which is CC has been consistent. It's a commercial dispute, all disputes between TM and PCM, unless it's a default. In that case, they step in. Otherwise, they usually avoid getting into commercial uh, matters. Finally, uh, uh, it, for people with large number of clients, thousands and millions and crores and whatever they are, without APIs, you cannot work. This file-based upload system is simply not workable. It, it won't, you won't last long. So, and it is more efficient. So please do consider adopting APIs. Now, this is a small game we played in, inside VBF and tried to find out how will we work our office. And we came to this kind of conclusion. I would love members to add us a fact. So whenever, whatever client is, assets are lying with us, we'll have to mentally or virtually have two buckets in our head. I'm calling it ready limit and potential on request limit, request case. 
ready limit is fund allocated to the clients of the CC plus G plus C value securities where CC has given full limit. Utna is a ready limit, jo RMS may we will always give. And then this partition limit, for example, he has sold the shares, early pain ho gaya. And early pain ka 80% apne chahe to de sakte hai. If he want, we can allocate kar sakte hai. Ya fir replace security 100 rupi ka diya. And CC ne khali 20 rupi ka limit diya. 80 hai, aap post hai kar, uh, 100 hai. To 80 ka aur scope hai hame dene ka. Allocate karne ka. Or unapproved securities which are allowed. We have a scope to give. Or there are certain direct BGs, direct activities which cannot be replaced, lying with us. These are all potential limits which can give on request. So life will probably work like this, that RMS may bucket one limit will be given. Bucket two will keep in a pocket. Client will send a message electronically, system-based, ki hey, uh, out of my pot so, uh, potential limit of 500, please give me 200. And if it is a straight through, then the software will do it. Or there will be some manual process, they do so, they do. And then he can trade. He, those who allocate karo, usko limit to. There will be various com permutations, combinations based on what your uh, business model is. Uh, we can crib and cry, so much changes, how to keep up with the changes, your boss, regulators know where to rest, he won't, they won't let us rest, they won't let MIs rest, all systems are getting updated, the same are the expectations for us, these changes are the new normal, we have, we as an intervention community have uh, done a damn good job uh, by managing it, I keep on saying the back office vendors, the magicians, who managed to do a, get everything up and running somehow. So this is new normal, you have to live with it. And there's one point, I because this is the occasion, the entire focus of the market is on para 16, para 11, sub upper band, lower band. Please keep an eye on this. Anyway, after 2nd May, you don't have a choice. Uh, people miss the lower band, mostly upper band. Please, 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 please understand this process. We have held many webinars on this. We'll hold more if you want. But uh, please understand this issue and uh, be aware, especially the compliance team. Uh, that would be a requirement of you. So this is the end of this presentation for today. Uh, all of us, uh, uh, as is the BBF uh, webinar style, everybody can raise their electronic hands. Vispi Bhai or Ujjwal Bhai will uh, turn on your mics. You can ask the questions. Uh, BBF team or MI team can answer the questions based on uh, whatever you asked. Before we really start the question answer, would, would any of my fellow panelists would like to say something, add, subtract, clarify? Uh, this would be a good time. No, nothing. Thika. So we can move to Q&A. Uh, uh, Vispi Bhai, over to you. Or Ujwal. Sure, I'll take care. Yeah. Mr. Srinivas, your question, please. Is, is, is there any possibility to extend? Uh, in my opinion, zero. Because I'll tell you, uh, good, it's a good question. So what happened is, first of all, you have to look at the time given by... Uh, the circular, it's 21 months. And we had a meeting, we had a meeting with uh, uh, Sebi last time when we were at February. And they said, boss, we need time, we time. Well, okay, uh, boss, how much time you want? We said, give us some time. They give us one month. But there's absolutely, uh, and uh, CC yeah, have see. also updated uh, and solved all the major issues. For example, spillover margins and all. So the probability of getting extension is next to zero. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Okay. But whatever we do prepay in uh, up, uh, on real time, uh, it is taking too long uh, getting uh, updated in NMAS. Uh, so, how do we so, overcome that? So, so, so again, the circulars, if you read carefully, have really solved this problem. He says, ki, suppose a client uh, sells, sells what's rupees 100. And uh, you have done the pain and depositive system, it got blocked. You can allocate 80 rupees to him immediately. Now, CCs will do the process in 5 minutes or 5 hours. It's none of our concern. We can allocate. 
correct that uh, in our rms system suppose one client sold 1 lakh worth of shares we do prepay him the yeah. client will not wait to for you to update the 80% limit it automatically in our rms system defined 80% you can buy uh, we cannot hold so, them so so you, so them, if you if you do that uh, you are uh, if you are putting your you see you have to allocate you will have to update a front end the front end is to allocate or we have to, even one two minutes five minutes delay won't do. Okay. So you will will have to uh, you uh, you'll have to stop automatic limit of eighty percent, and you'll have oh. to create some kind of a, a manual process or a batch process or something of that sort. Okay. We cannot do tomorrow next day morning SA zero four file for uh, rectification. That means uh, waiver of the penalty for that. No, there is no waiver of penalty for that and disaster. Only the snapshot will, will be only two three minutes time. That whatever will capture. I mean, if it, it, then 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 you are depending on luck, which is a very <laughs> bad Correct. idea. Agree. Uh, agree, 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 agree. Okay. Though Thanks. we had request, uh, we had requested to the the regulator and CC repeatedly. Even if I do pain by end of the day, why are you forcing me to do intra? But we couldn't convince them. We are still going to try. Okay, but uh, uh, they have applied their mind and said no. So the probability of success is very uh, minimal. But sometimes it so happens, you know, they come out with a strict law, they implement it, and after 10, 15 days, they realize, oh, yeah, this is actually a problem, and they relent later. So I have not given up hope, but then the, it is not going to happen by Tuesday for sure. Oh. Carrying this point further, huh. in this uh, in this waiver of penalty reason code 2, Hmm. It is very clearly written that value of security is sold for which EPI has been done by end of the day to CC. So in this question, suppose 100 rupees what I have sold and 80 rupees I allow the client to trade without reporting it to NMAS. In the evening, automatically my SA01 and SA04 will be showing shortage. But next day till T plus 5, I can report under this exception, no? under 2. I don't think it works. But first, let me divide this into two parts. Number one, when can you allocate first is when the clients when can you allocate when the client buys again okay when he if he says there are waivers and all okay if he buys you cannot let him buy before allocation okay this is what the i don't agree with uh, this line of view of uh, the regulator but this is the current uh, regulatory thought that comes to us okay we will argue about this is a very good point I'll, I'll i'll take it forward when the client buys he cannot buy till the allocation is done this is part A. Part B is when can you allocate? You can allocate only after the pain is done in depository system. So let's uh, so let's take this example uh, that if the client has sold shares worth rupees hundred online as a CNC and pain why and you were you allocate immediately eighty rupees. Okay. In that case, you won't get a penalty for short allocation. But then you will be hauled up for giving him allocation before you were entitled to give him allocation. Ashish, you appreciate the nuance, I hope. No, that is correct. I totally See, agree. I'm, I'm bringing this point for the, for the education of all the other members. Mm -hmm. So, allocation before further buying is a must. That is not, uh, uh, this number two code is not for that. But now I would request uh, Josefa to uh, address this uh, uh, issue uh, because it's always better that uh, uh, TC speak. No, sir, you are correct, sir. So basically, the whole uh, two ideas are there. One is that for the sell side margin, if you do EPI subsequently and before you do EPI, the snapshot uh, comes, you can ask for exemption for sell side margin by reporting 0 to reason code. But the credit which is you are giving is a business call which has been taken by the broker to give a credit to the client. It is not a regulatory requirement. It is a business call of giving a credit to the client. So first, uh, that when such credit can be given, so that exchange is clarified. Earlier it was that the credit can be given only after the EPI is accepted by CC. And because of the time taken to process the whole cycle between depository CCs, now they have uh, uh, changed it that the moment the EPI is done by the member at the depository, the credit can be given. And once you give the credit, uh, you need to do the allocation. Because for that amount, somebody has to, from because you are giving it as a credit from your proprietary funds, 
you need to give that allocation as an actual amount allocated to that plant. So, Josefa ji, in this scenario, uh, say if the client has sold 100 rupees share in the morning, automatically the broker is taking in his stride that he is going to do EPI only at the EOD. So and then the, you can give credit only after EOD, sir. As for exchange FAQ circular, which is there, it is very clear that you can give that credit only after the EPI is done by the depository. Agreed, sir. So in this scenario, if I am reporting the same in T plus U, one under the reason code 2, will uh, I be... Mean, you know, it will be considered as false reporting. Because if you only for the sell side 20 rupees, which will come in cash market as intraday snapshot, because since you have done a 100 rupees sale, for all your intraday snapshot, you will get 20 rupees margin requirement and zero collateral, so you will get 20 rupees shortfall. So for that cash market 20 rupees shortfall, you can report reason code zero. Two. But against that, if you have allowed him 80 rupees in FNO and there is no allocation done, for all that 80 rupees in FNO, you cannot report it reason code zero. Two. If you do so, it will be considered as positive. Code. And say if I am allocating that 80 rupees instantly, like Mr. Bagri said, in that scenario, will I be reporting in line with the requirement? So, your like she, Mr. Uh, sir said already that it is there will be no short allocation, but you are not complying with the exchange FAQ of giving credit after the EPI is done in depository. So, so, so you Ashish, have to comply with both the circulars. So, Ashish, you notice we will we will uh, uh, there will be no penalty from a CC point of view, but MG thirteen or MG TM, whichever you are reporting, uh, depending on CC. That will go for a toss because your intraday margin allocation, right? Uh, if you read the CC uh, exchange circular which came yesterday, NSE uh, came out of circular in BSE 2, they say, ki, boss, you can only report interim margin what where the pay in is done, number one, and the ledger the posting has been made in the ledger. Now, obviously, we all maintain virtual ledger, virtual ledger is also ledger. So, those two points are being halved upon, and there is time stamping. So, uh, uh, then we are, anybody who does that is exposing that himself or herself to the risk of being hauled up during inspection for false reporting in MG13. And allocation MG13 ka max penalty lagta hai. So, allocation when nikal gaye, MG13 ya MG team aapka dala do. But sir, my humble submission will be to review this because yes, like Ash Ashish, uh, that's the that's the point I made initially. I'll repeat it on on. But this is totally inefficient. Uh, this uh, uh, and the cost benefit analysis doesn't make sense. If any client comes to me and wants to sell the shares, and I know early pain hone wala, why force him to do early pain in the middle of the day? Please let him do early pain at the end of the day. Let me allocate, let me report margins. There is no risk to the system. The client is not traded beyond his capacity. This is the point. We will the circular. And there is no problem to the system as such. There is no settlement issue. Yes, Nothing yes, happened. Yes. So this point, Ashish has already been taken up by uh, with the uh, MIS, with the regulator, and MIS also discussed the regulator. We could not convince them. We will try again. Okay, Ashish. Right. But then, uh, and uh, your statement, I totally agree, subscribe, support. The regulatory authorities need to review this stand. So, and one more small confusion I was having. Holy uh, Till last time, uh, under CC01, whatever margin we were reporting on the T minus one day, that was again to be supposed to be reported till 11.30 of T day. For example, yesterday, I uh, the client bought for 100 rupees, 20 rupees is the margin requirement that was coming under CC01. So today also till 11.30, I had to report that 20 rupee in his account. So that was undue creating extra data that I had to send to exchange. So that whether that is continued because you, they, you're, you're talking about the spillover of cash market, exactly which goes to next week. Yes, so yes. point is for the purpose of allocation. I'll, I'll clarify by clarify again. This is this is the biggest relief that came. So suppose a client purchase shares worth rupees hundred on Monday. Okay, and then Tuesday morning me for half a day will be fifty rupees. Correct. 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 Uh, when they calculating the shortage for allocation, CCs will not take cognizance of the 20 rupees at all. Exactly. Yeah. They have already clarified in the circular. 
and I'm re-clarifying uh, uh, to you. So suppose a client does it. I'll repeat. I should have given an example for this, but no problem. Client purchase shares were to be is hundred on Monday. So on Monday, uh, his intraday requirement will be twenty for allocation. End of day will be twenty. On Tuesday, he suppose he does nothing. There will be no intraday requirement, no end of day requirement. This twenty rupees of spillover who are, usko CC ignore kar dega from the point of view of allocation and shortages. So I can simply down it in the morning then. So you can simply down it in the morning next. Down day. it, ignore it. Yes. Okay. You can ignore it next day for the purpose of allocation. Correct. But there's something called working capital requirement. There's some there lots of things. Ah, uh, that's yeah. Client ne ten crore ka mal le liya trade to trade ka Monday ko. Tuesday uh, to uska zero allocation kar dega. Wo uh, pura ten crore plus ninety percent basically what eleven crore ke aas pas will uh, be picked up from your pro. That's what. Pro me eleven crore nahi hai the dabba bandho jayega. So, hmm. so uh, from ka. From allocation penalty compliance point of view, way will go, but operations clearly please ignore what can be very hard to do. Close allocate, close allocate, can be done. Right? Right. Okay. Uh, Samir ji, your question, please. Samir ji, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Yeah, yeah. So just carrying forward the previous question. Samir, your voice Samir, is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just one second. So there are more than two connections in the yeah, same room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just going back to this question, same question. For the uh, next day morning, can we unallocate for the client and make it zero? Yes, you can. Uh, you won't be penalized for that. Okay, okay. So uh, next day morning, up to pain, I don't need to show the allocation at all. That thing. correct. This is the relief that came yesterday. Okay. And uh, yesterday I discussed with you, Uttam. Uh, was that error code? The, uh, 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 Samir, if you were listening to our presentation, I have already made that point. I'm no, already no, so, requested CC to ignore error codes and don't make us don't force us to allocate because it's quasi pro. CC is uh, said we will think about it. So as of now, we need to allocate before. As of now, you need to allocate before moving anything to error. Okay. Yep. Uh, Karanji, your question, please. Karan, hi. Hi, Uttam. How are you? So. We, this time is not a question. Actually, most of the questions have been solved. It's been a long time that we are questioning things, but uh, it's more on the uh, CCs, uh, API, ICCL. I've actually raised it in the forum email also a couple of uh, weeks ago, or once be directly be. I've tried to reach out a couple of times, but the uh, on sixth of February, ICCL has given an API uh, which supports intraday allocations better, a document for that, but it's still not working. So request for that to uh, you know uh, be expedited to some extent because really we don't have any time now and also even if we are going live initially a cat week be co issues who are we probably may be able to manage but at least you know it's now about time that that's done uh, for ICC. Uh, so uh, ICCL team that is the comment made by Karan Bhai is the API provided by ICCL is has issues. It's not. Uh it's It it never started working actually. From sixth of February, we have a document which also has all uh, demo data of sorts. Current uh, current uh, Vijayta, your which API are you referring to? Uh, the allocation or the margin API? The margin API. Allocation API has been working for over a year, I think. That we are yeah. using for this margin API because for intraday, like uh, uh, like you know, Uttam, you also pointed out. That uh, for almost everything intraday, like say payment gateway or say for EPR, wherever we need to give limits before the usage, we need to fetch from the CC what is the current allocation. Only then we can add to that and allocate uh, the additional amount that we receive. So that margin API is still not working neither in UAT nor live nothing. Karan ji, we'll check on this margin API and we will get back to you. Yeah, so I've been dropping emails after email, but please, please look into it, yeah, because without that intraday is a little difficult. So uh, uh, I'll I'll rephrase current by please uh, correct me if I'm uh, uh, not uh, perfect. If you want, uh, if CCs expect that uh, the front ends are smart enough to keep on adding uh, to the old allocations, of course we can do it. But a front end cannot add to the allocation till it knows what's the actual allocation at this point of time. Correct. And and we But, need that reverse messaging of yeah. by whatever name called from uh, from the CCs. Perfect. Uh, because I, suppose I have already allocated one crore to someone, and then uh, he transfers fifty lakhs. I can't allocate fifty. I have to allocate one fifty. 
Yes. I can allocate 150 only if I know there's one, uh, one code lying up there. Correct. So correct. I need I need that API. I need a process where I can look into the C system already get allocated and add to it and send to 150 ka file. Correct. And and, and of course then the risk was so allocation fail ho gaya ki hua. Huh. everything because that uh, if that is not there we have we are in serious trouble the only way of doing it is then the, the front office has to remember last kya kiya tha and keep on adding internally keeping its own track without yeah. and then nobody else in the office except the front end can see yeah. this is not a practical solution right. uh, so uh, please uh, the uh, ICCL team request you to kindly look at this uh, issue but, raised huh. and actually uh, ICCL team already knows this very well. 6 February, they also have given an API doc, but it's just that it's not functioning the API. They they have already designed an API for this. Okay. So, Thank you for bringing it up. And I think it's a good feedback. And uh, one more thing for sure. marginable custodian clients for allocation, it, it is discussed that by end of day, uh, you know, with, with a reason code, you can, I mean, we are already uh, doing it, but uh, from the time that intraday allocation become, uh, became penalizable, that is 1st of February, and then it got pushed. But from that time, I believe there were some ch changes uh, in the CC system or uh, whatever, which has caused a new problem to emerge that for marginable custodian clients, even though allocation with the reason code, we can say that, okay, don't levy a penalty, but in MG 13 file, uh, we are still getting that shortage. And uh, we've been asked by the CC to uh, send an email every day saying that this is my client. This is the trade. We've got a, uh, uh, you know, shortage in MG 13. So please don't uh, charge us that penalty. And we've been sending that email every single day for last one and a half months. So, uh, current Vijayata, yeah, we have not levied any penalty to you, but yeah, but, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm aware that the penalty have, is not levied, but I'm just bringing it up that from the yeah, time so we are rolling out that levied. change okay. in few days' time, so you will not get that issue. Okay, Fine. So, are we expected to continue sending those emails or we can stop and you will manage on your own? It's better you send an email, okay, okay, got it. Fine. Okay, all right. Just these two things. Thanks, thanks, Karan, for bringing those issues. Uh, Kuldeep ji, your question, please. A request to unmute yourself, Kuldeep ji. Hello. Yes. Uh, Uttam ji, my question regarding uh, the reason code zero one. How to uh, report zero one? Because uh, margin available in other CC. But in UD, it is available in the CC02. But in real time, if I say SA01 file, which is uh, it's not contain the all client, it contain the client only which is available, uh, margin is open or the position is open in the particular segment. Suppose I have a margin, my client position is in MCX and allocated fund in a FNO. But I'm not able to get the data from say, SA01 the client is because the client is not open to have a position in the FNO, so it will not contain in the SA01 or SA035. Then oh. the, the vendor will not able to make any logic behind this. How he will report that? Basically, FFI refills that question. I generally answer with this. Uh, uh, Kuldeep ji, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that question? But when a back office kill ye judge can say CC make high allocated the Kiani, it is a bloody pain for uh, because you just don't have those files to do the calculation. Is, 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 uh, is, is that what is that what the statement being made? Have I understood it correctly? Kulibji? Yes, sir. So uh, uh, so you, you want the files from the CC? So, so what do you, say, what do you want? What's the solution? So to this? I want that the client should, all clients should be contained in the file which is received uh, from CC. Where, whether or not there's position. Ah, whether it, there is position or not. Ah, from Otherwise, which, I'm, ah, correct. Which CC you want? Okay, all CCs have this issue. From all CC actually. Okay. Else it, it is it. difficult to justify in time of audit. If I say that I have a available collateral in the MCS at the time of uh, so uh, basically uh, basically you are saying that when the allocation file is given, the whatever file is given, the only the client's position is the only the allocation number is given. Yes. The only the allocation number is not given. 
तो उस फाइल में हमको सारे क्लाइंट के चाहिए पोजीशन हो या नहीं हो एलोकेशन यदि है तो जीरो करके एलोकेशन का नंबर आ जाए करेक्ट एंड यू वांट दिस फ्रॉम ऑल द सीसीस करेक्ट ओके कैन कैन ऑल द सीसीस प्लीज मेक अ नोट आई थिंक दिस इज अ डैम गुड पॉइंट है बिकॉज़ दिस विल हेल्प इन ऑडिट इट विल हेल्प इन अवॉइडिंग मिस्टेक्स and it will help the back office front offices audit team everyone and that information is with you if you could and you sending a file just append those more records in this so only take Uttam, a month or two for development that's a vijayta ya in the intraday short allocation snapshots we are disseminating entire data with zero records also okay so in that case it's uh, probably the, some cc's uh, where kuldeep ji is there but uh, if you are doing it cc thank you so much but those who are not please have a look at the suggestion and this issue faced by this member sure sir we we'll look into it perfect yes sir okay, thank you sir thank you kuldeep yeah man those nahi nahi we speak i think yeah mr bhai you are mute seems to be technical issue here ujwal can you tell us sudhakar sudhakar ji hello you are able to bolie sir bolie sir uh, sir uh... जब हम सीसी का एनमास में देखते हैं कि जो यूटिलाइजेशन दिखता है प्रो का वहां पे जो रिप्लेट स्टॉक्स है उसका 100 परसेंट बेनिफिट नहीं मिलता है इट इज ओनली टू द एक्सटेंट ऑफ कैश जितना है उतना ही रिप्लेट का भी बेनिफिट मिलता है एंड रेस्ट इज बीइंग यूज फ्रॉम प्रो और कैश प्लस रिप्लेट का भी टू द एक्सटेंट ऑफ रिप्लेस का बेनिफिट टू द एक्सटेंट ऑफ कैश उसका भी 90 परसेंट ही मिलता है एंड रेस्ट इज यूज फ्रॉम प्रो तो ये जो अभी एक्स्ट्रा यूज हुआ है फ्रॉम प्रो इज देर इन शॉर्ट अलोकेशन फॉर दैट और शॉर्ट अलोकेशन पेनल्टी नो सो ये अच्छा क्वेश्चन है मैं आपको इसको दूसरे ढंग से प्रेजेंट करने की कोशिश करता हूँ शिंदे जी सपोज एक एग्जाम्पल से हमेशा सपोज एक क्लाइंट है उसने अपने को करोड़ रुपए के रिलायंस प्लेज कर दी ठीक है और उसने नाइनटी नाइन लैक का पोजिशन ले लिया अभी क्वेश्चन है दो पार्ट और फिफ्टी फिफ्टी रेशियो उसने नहीं मनाया लेकिन हमने प्रो से कैश देके इसका काम कर लिया तो इज इट विल आई गेट पेनलाइज विल देर बी शॉर्ट एलोकेशन पेनल्टी आंसर इज नो ठीक है दूसरा सीसी खाली नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट देता है अब सपोज अब एग्जाम इसको थोड़ा चेंज करते हैं उसने एक करोड़ कैश दिया है उसने नाइनटी नाइन लाख का पोजिशन किया है तो नब्बे लाख उसका यूज हो गया नौ लाख अपना यूज हो रहा है वॉट अराउंड फिगर में बोल रहा हूँ तो अपना प्रो नाइन लेकिन उसके उसके लिए इट्स इज नॉट एलोकेशन शॉर्ट पेनल्टी इसमें पेनल्टी नहीं लगेगी पेनल्टी नहीं लगेगी वो नाइनटी परसेंट इज सेफ्टी वो प्रो दे सकता है बट क्लाइंट ने सौ रुपया दिया हुआ है ये सीसी को दिख रहा है तो भैया उस क्लाइंट निन्यानवे के सौ तक काम कर सकता है दस प्रो का यूज हो जाएगा बट पेनल्टी नहीं लगेगी फ्रॉम एलोकेशन पॉइंट ऑफ okay and uh, replace also i can give replace 100% benefit of the replace to customer yes to again iske andar khali ek hai ki aapne suppose 100 rupaye ka mal cc ko place kiya aur cc ne aapko uska 70 value pakda ya 60 pakda ya 30 pakda jo bhi prudential limits ke hisab se to 50 50 nahi ki prudential limits ke hisab se jitna rupaya cc ne pakda aap utna hi usko margin de sakte ho automatic usse zyada dena ho to aapko apne own se cash allocate karna padega usko तो इस एग्जाम्पल को आगे लेता हूं फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑल किसी ने मुझे सौ रुपए के शेयर्स प्लेज किए अब हेयर कट काट के उसका वैल्यू अस्सी होता है सपोज मैंने अस्सी वो आगे रिप्लेस कर दिया रिप्लेस कर दिया अस्सी के सामने सीसी ने मुझे खाली चालीस का लिमिट दिया सपोज सो चालीस रुपया तो धर्माधर में ऊपर से आ गया चालीस रुपया अस्सी माइनस चालीस चालीस और मैं प्रो से अपना कैश उसको एलोकेट कर सकता हूं इट इज नॉट इट इज टोटली विद इन दम्प्लायंस नॉर्म्स बट एट्टी का एटी वन नहीं कर सकते okay. और पूरा शेयर इस तरह पूरा शेयर ले सकते हो अंडरस्टूड क्वेश्चन उत्तम जयल जस्ट मेक अ चेंज स्मॉल चेंज इन द एग्जाम्पल जो आफ्टर रिप्लेस टू सीसी इफ देर इज सीसी हैज गिवन मी हंड्रेड रुपीज क्रेडिट फॉर नॉन कैश कंपोनेंट ओके एंड कस्टमर हैज जीरो कैश अलोकेटेड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सेगमेंट ओके एंड कस्टमर टेक्स अ पोजीशन ऑफ हंड्रेड रुपीज वर्थ मार्जिन ओके नो प्रॉब्लम देर इज नो नॉन कंप्लेन्स 
यू आपको पेनल्टी का फाइल नहीं आएगा ओके ओके सर लिखा है कि हम प्रोडेंशियल लिमिट पकड़ेंगे लेकिन फिफ्टी फिफ्टी कैश नहीं पकड़ेंगे बस लिखा हुआ है पढ़ लीजिए अर्ली पेन में लिखा हुआ है कि खाली सेल साइड वाला ही है तो देख ले भैया पूरा का पूरा अर्ली पेन मत दे देना एलोकेट मत रीजन को टू मत डालना सब लिखा हुआ है मूविंग यस यस राजेश जी योर क्वेश्चन या सर दिस वाज रिगार्डिंग सम क्लेरिफिकेशन रिक्वायर्ड रिगार्डिंग यस्टरडे सर्कुलर ऑफ एनएसई एफएनओ सर्कुलर नंबर 56496 बिलो द रीजन कोड टेबल दे मेंशन मेंबर कैन ओनली रिपोर्ट मार्जिन फॉर सिक्योरिटी सोल्ड फॉर व्हिच ईपीआई हैज बीन डन सब्सिक्वेंट टू द सेल इन सीएम सेगमेंट and collateral block towards the sale transaction was used towards margin requirement fro segment this is okay thereafter it is please note that value of credit entry posted in the client ledger in lieu of successful epi to cc should not be reported so this is bit confusing can you please clarify this point i think jose for uh, uh, somebody from ncl would is best place to if somebody is around so uh, i'll try to answer this question uh, somebody from ncl takes it acha uh, ncl is here now he is unable to log in ah josefa is uh, josefa is trying yeah josefa is connected josefa can you hear us yes, sir yeah sorry did, did you get this question no sir i was not there so so, so, it, so yeah. could you please repeat the question please yeah uh, yesterday circular for uh, short allocation in fro segment circular number 56496 Uh, below the uh, reason code table, the asterisk mark. Members can only report margins of security sold for which EPI has been done subsequent to the sale in CM segment, and collateral block towards the sale transaction was used towards margin requirement FRO segment. Huh. Please note that value of credit entry posted in client ledger in lieu of successful EPI to CC should not be reported. Huh. Uh, I just want a clarification on these two points. Huh. So sir, I I am not sure whether you went through the presentation what uh, Mr. Uttam gave. He gave an example also where if the client, let us say, you have given 100 rupees, uh, you have uh, allocated 20 rupees in cash market, and against that the client has taken position in FNO, and subsequently the client sells the shares in cash market for which the EPI is done subsequently. So the cash market allocation will get used towards the margin of the sale transaction, and FNO will become short. So to handle such scenarios, you can do a reporting of uh, 20 rupees as margin available under code 02 in FNO segments. And uh, the other thing what we have we have been discussing is that uh, against that sale of uh, 100 rupees, if you want to give a credit of 80 rupees, that you have to actually allocate and that you cannot use it for reporting under reason code 02. So that is the understanding of that uh, asterisk mark. No, uh, th- this point I understood, sir. That I have to allocate to eighty rupees and then I can allow to trade. Yeah. My only uh, the cl- was in the last line. Please note that the value of credit entry posted in the client ledger in yeah. lieu of such EPI. Uh, because the, uh, the credit can be given only as per the section circular. You can give credit after the entry is posted in the credit. Okay. That you have to post and allocate that amount. You cannot report it as reason code zero. that is okay and uh, uh, one more confusion which was there sir uh, your function epi uh, well, uh, same circular point uh, reason code 2 value of securities epi has been done at end of day to cc in cm segment applicable only for intraday uh, short fall west step short yes. either is e yes other than uh-huh. Because sir, in in case if you have already done the EPA by end of day, what will happen is your cash market margins will become zero, and whatever excess mm-hmm. collateral is there will automatically get considered for FNO. So that's why you can use this reason code only for intraday short pause and not for end of day short pause. So, but what happens? Suppose if I uh, uh, if the client has uh, sold hundred shares of Reliance mm-hmm. and again said he has bought something. Oh. 
अवेलेबल But NCL it is not there, sir. So that NCL that we don't, in NCL if you put a CP trade, we don't include those margins in the executing broker's margins. It is. A, it, I, I'm, I'm talking about ICCL. Basically, we are clearing to ICCL. So you can check with I. Maybe somebody from ICCL can answer. Okay. ICCL circle. ICCL circle, circle is not come. I think they'll uh, they'll okay. continue that because ICCL does a TM level or something. But ICCL yes. circle will be there. We'll wait for the ICCL. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Inamaji, your question, please. Um, Uttam, I just want to clarify that reason code will continue to exist for uh, CP clients in ICCL. Okay, thank you in so ICCL, much. Yes. Right, thank you. Babaji, your question, please. Please unmute yourself. Hello. Chetanji, you can ask your question. Yes, Chetanji. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So my question is uh, to NCCL team. Sir, you just zero two. You have just told me the code. Sir, I have also some confusion. Is that when I am putting zero two reason code, or there is a second option to put the value. So earlier, so my hundred rupees is in front of me. Twenty rupees is the margin due. And I have twenty rupees. The margin is left. Hundred rupees is left. Twenty rupees is left. End of the day. Okay. Twenty rupees is left. Fine. And uh, second question is जो already एक कुलदीप जी ने कहा था कि भाई अपने file में uh, सारे record होने चाहिए so we can prove to the other segments as well के भी हाँ भी वहाँ पे वो segment में हमारा funds available था uh, in ऐसे दिनों में all the records भी, this is my so requirement there are, yeah for that there are two answers I could not answer earlier there are two things to that one is that anyway we will independently verify from the other clearing operation other clearing operation can independently verify with us so there is no requirement of member will coming uh, cc coming mm -hmm. has to be you secondly at ncl uh, now on uh -huh. end mass we are providing a download down, downloadable facility where at any point of time mm -hmm. you can uh, download uh, what is the um, data uh, whatever data you get it in your sa file for all clients whether this is any margin or yes. not for all clients the data is available yes. on uh, in collateral information in end mass which you can download and keep yes So there you can get the data. Mm -hmm. uh, our suggestion has come that you include all the clients in SA file also that we will uh, examine and whenever it is, if it is feasible, we will include that. Okay. And this my last question is uh, last uh, is that in la in recent days in this week we observed that lot of delay is there in FNO response. Some we don't have a sufficient collaterals in pro. We are having a minimum a limited amount of pro. We are having a sufficient amount in our unallocated funds, but somehow uh, due to re, uh, mm -hmm. delay in response file, we are not able to provide limit to the clients because uh, we have a limited bucket. So, if possible, please improve the re response uh, and allocation process. Sure, right, sir. Right. So we have been we yeah. have been working on that optimization continuously. Uh, compared yeah. to the last three months, it is better. We will still continue to yeah. work on optimization. Yeah, fine, fine. Thanks a lot. Now, uh, Kunwarji, your question, please. Kunwarji. Yeah. Uh, Uh, thank you, sir. I am Atul Chokshi from Kumar Ji Pinstock. Now we are clearing our trades through ICCL. The uh, issue we are facing is that if we are reporting a penalty waiver code for any client, then we don't have any amount of place to report it. For example, if we are reporting a penalty waiver code for any client, then we don't have any amount of place to report it. For example, if we are reporting a penalty waiver code for any client, then we don't have any amount of place to report it. For example, if we are reporting a penalty waiver code for any client, then we don't have any And twenty rupees is not. Then we cannot give uh, either. We have to just put that code against that client uh, record, or we we cannot give uh, amount wise figure. So that's a good one. I see. So this is a feedback for you. Very interesting point made. 
point taken with them. Uh, we are working on getting something done for this. So it will take some time. But uh, we have we will have some rollout uh, shortly on this. अच्छा मुझे एक चीज बताएं ऑन दिस पॉइंट अदल भाई तो ऐसे शॉर्टेज है तो MG13 में तो शॉर्ट हो ही जाएगा वो या MGTM में ये ये बस मैं पूछ रहा हूं कि सी पॉइंट इज आपका पॉइंट ये है कि यदि सॉल्व पे शॉर्ट है मुझे 80 रुपए की माफी अलाउड है तो इस 80 डालने का ऑप्शन नहीं है तो सौदा सौदा पूरा माफ करो या फिर कुछ भी माफ ना करो करेक्ट ये यही है ये तो जबकि बीस रुपए मैं शॉर्ट बताना चाहता हूँ बीस रुपए पेनल्टी देना चाहता हूँ अब मुझे ये बताइए जो बीस रुपए शॉर्ट है ये अपने एमजीटीएम में भी बीस रुपए शॉर्ट जाएगा लॉजिकली ठीक है तो यदि आपने यहाँ पूरी माफी मांग भी ली तो पेनल्टी इज अ मैक्स बिटवीन द टू तो आपने कोई पेनल्टी की सेविंग नहीं की आपने कोई चीटिंग नहीं की आईसीसीएल एम आई राइट अभी आप पूरा माफी मांग के रीजन को डालते हो क्योंकि सीसी में ऑप्शन नहीं है तो आई डोंट थिंक यू डूइंग एनी रॉन्ग बिकॉज यू आर नॉट सेविंग एनी पेनल्टी बट हेलो सर सो बट होना चाहिए मैं मना नहीं कर रहा होना चाहिए लेकिन अभी जो है हाँ सर सॉरी टू डिस्टर्ब यू एक्चुअली आई हैव टॉक विद आईसीसीएल टीम दैट टोल्ड मी कि जब हम ऑडिट में आएंगे तब देख पकड़ेंगे तब दैट टाइम वी विल पेनलाइज एक्चुअली अस्सी पे नहीं लगेगा ट्वेंटी पे लगेगा बट आपने बीस तो डेट टाइम वो नहीं बोले ऑप्शन यू पुट अल इनफैक्ट आईसीसीएल आई थिंक यू शुड Uh, 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 the uh, member should be able to write a email. You should confirm that there is no problem. You can do it this way, because provided with the uh, key, I'm showing proper figures in MGTM, and there is no question of saving penalty. So that that email becomes a safety net in case they face any regulatory questions, including internal audit. For your kind consideration, please. Um, uh, Otan, uh, actually, uh, if you can drop an email, uh, we will confirm on it. Okay. अदरवाइजी Or what exactly is the conclusion on this query? मैं आपसे query नहीं समझा सर. Sir, अभी जो Mr. Ravi ji ने question पूछा था, where uh, the NCL team is uh, just now advice this particular uh, question. I just repeat the question. Member can only report margins for security sold for which the EPI has been done subsequent to the sale in CM segment and the collateral block. Towards the towards such sale transaction was used towards the margin requirement in FNO segment. Hmm. Just now, a question was asked. Okay. What is the conclusion? I uh, mean, what is the solution? What is the what is the advice to this? What is the? See, see, see. Now, this is the basic spirit. Understand? Okay. Now, the ICC circular will be studied. It will be very similar because all circulars come out in coordination. If the client has sold the goods, then the CM segment will be used. If the client has sold the goods, then the CM segment will be used. If the client has sold the goods, then the CM segment will be used. If the client has sold the goods, then the CM segment will be used. If the client has sold the goods, then the CM segment will be used. If the client has sold the goods, then the CM segment will be used. If the client has sold the goods, then the CM segment will be used. If the client has sold the goods, then the CM segment will be used. If the client has sold the goods, then the CM segment will be used. If the client has sold the goods, then the CM segment will be used. If the client has sold the goods, ठीक है ये ये बेसिक स्पिरिट है ओके ठीक है अब एक्सेप्शन ये है कि कभी कभी क्या है उसको आपने इसको एलोकेट किया हुआ लेकिन ये एलोकेशन को ऐसी चीज में यूज हो जाता है जो एलोकेशन करने की जरूरत नहीं थी फिर भी यूज अप हो गया क्वेरी आ गई तब आपको ये कोड यूज करना है ओके बट हियर इट हैज बीन स्पेसिफिकली मेंशन दैट एंड द कोलैटरल ब्लॉक टुवर्ड्स द सच सेल ट्रांजैक्शन वाज यूज्ड टुवर्ड्स द मार्जिन रिक्वायरमेंट इन एफएनओ सेगमेंट्स सो आर वी ट्राइंग टू मेंशन समथिंग स्पेसिफिकली बाय यूजिंग दिस सेंटेंस दैट व्हाटएवर सिक्योरिटी सोल्ड एंड द कोलैटरल ब्लॉक टुवर्ड्स अ पर्टिकुलर मार्जिन रिक्वायरमेंट इन एफएनओ सेगमेंट ओनली फॉर द एफएनओ सेगमेंट ओनली सच सेल ट्रांजैक्शंस अ सेल प्रोसीड विल बी यूज्ड नॉट फॉर एनी अदर सेगमेंट आर वी ट्राइंग टू आपने एफएनओ का सर्कुलर पढ़ा हां हां आपने करेंसी डेटा का सर्कुलर पढ़ा नहीं करेंसी का नहीं एनसीएल क्या सेगमेंट वाइज सर्कुलर इशू करता है 
एफएनए के शक्ल में खाली एफएनओ की बात करेंगे करेंसी में करेंसी की बात करेंगे कमोडिटी में कमोडिटी की बात करेंगे बट सब में एक ही बात करेंगे ओके सो इफ आई से टुडे इफ आई हैव गिवन कोलैटरल इन एफएनओ सेगमेंट फॉर द मार्जिन रिक्वायरमेंट एंड इफ आई अनब्लॉक दैट कोलैटरल एंड सेल दैट सिक्योरिटी इन द कैश मार्केट नाउ I understand that I anticipate the client is uh, uh, I have a sufficient margin in FNO, but still I have allocated uh, uh, in ad- in ad- in addition to the requirement. So if I sold security in cash market and I use this particular sale proceed toward the cash market for for uh, my further requirement, if I anticipate that the client is going to take the position in the cash market, so then it is not been allowed. This is what my question is. Bhavish, boy, this your question is that if you ask numbers with the numbers, then it will be clear to me. मुझे लगता है मैं समझ गया बट आई एम स्टिल नॉट कॉन्फिडेंट माई सेल्फ एक क्लाइंट है उसने सौ रुपए का शेयर एफ में प्लेज किया हुआ है यहाँ से शुरू करें हाँ अब वो एफ एन ओ में कोई पोजिशन खड़ा है उसका नहीं नहीं आपने वहां से अनप्लेज कर लिया बहुत अच्छी बात है फिर आपने कैश में बेच दिया बहुत अच्छी बात है आपने शाम तक पेन कर दिया बहुत अच्छी बात है बीस रुपए इंटरेस्ट शॉर्ट आएगा शाम तक पेन कर दिया तो आप बोलो बीस रुपए माफ कर भाई पेनल्टी नहीं लगनी ये हो गया सिंपल एग्जांपल। ओके। दूसरा है अब तो आपने उसका बीस रुपए लेजर में जमा था आपने कैश मार्केट में एलोकेट कर रखा था उसने सौ सौ रुपए का माल बेच दिया ओके। अब सौ का माल बेच दिया तो वो तो बीस रुपए ऑलरेडी यूज हो गया जबकि यूज नहीं होना चाहिए था उसका तो अपने पास टाइम है ओके। ठीक है अब यूज हो गया अब उस अब बीस रुपए का और पोजिशन करना है और सेगमेंट में वो बेचारा नहीं कर पा रहा ठीक है तो उसके लिए सो ये एक्चुअली आप सही कह रहे हैं ये पॉइंट नंबर टू है ना बहुत कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है ये आप सबको लगता है समझ में आ गया कि रात को सुबह उठेंगे ना फिर सब कंफ्यूज होकर बैठ जाएंगे ये ये थोड़ा ये नया भी है थोड़ा एप्लीकेशन में जब लाएंगे तब पता चलते जाएगा कि करेक्ट 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 बट बेसिक 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 सिद्धांत पॉइंट आउट हो गया है थोड़ा प्रैक्टिस प्रैक्टिस प्रैक्टिकल से आएगा करेक्ट Okay. so my thank you my second question is this uh, in the in the earlier seminar uh, we have been we have been correct me if i'm wrong uh, while addressing certain situations like when we do the repledging to the cc we get some interval basis updation from the cc or file by which we will get the confirmation that repledge ho gaya in the recent example where you mentioned say for an example if i have repledge 100 worth of 100 uh, rupees 100 worth of securities i anticipate that i'll get uh, 70 rupees worth of uh limit but ah. eventually i land up having uh, getting the limit of 60 or 50 because i don't know my total uh, uh, collateral value get you know uh, blocked more mm-hmm. then in that case uh, uh, what we have uh, envisaged in the last meeting if we get real time window where where you know some some kind of a window where as soon as we play the securities at least at 10 minutes or 15 minutes interval we will be able to understand so so bhavish bhai i am aapko interrupt kar raha hu आइडियली यहाँ मैंने प्लेज किया मुझे एक सेकंड में मिलना चाहिए हाँ, तो आई एम जस्ट सेइंग वो अपना सपना है बट सीसी बोलता है बहुत इतना फास्ट नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि इतना तो... करेगा सीसी बोलता है बॉस मेरे को पांच घंटा लगेगा अरे पांच घंटा टू मच है तो ठीक है मैं पांच का चार करता हूँ तीन करता हूँ दो करता हूँ एक करता आधा घंटा धीरे धीरे मैं ऑप्टिमाइज करूंगा सीसी का सिस्टम जब जब सुधरेगा तब सुधरेगा सुधर तो रहा ही है अपने एक्सपेक्ट अपने मैजिकल एक्सपेक्टेशन को मीट करने के लिए रियल टाइम जैसा जब होगा तब होगा तब तक हमें इसी से काम चलाना पड़ेगा भविष्य भाई बट ये सजेशन अपना सही है सीसी हैज टू गेट फास्टर एंड फास्टर सीसी खुद मानते हो जैफा अभी भी बोला था हम भी कॉन्स्टेंटली सिस्टम ऑप्टिमाइज करते रहते हैं बाकी सीसी हर वेबिनार में बोलते हैं हमारा सिस्टम हमारे हिसाब से ठीक है लेकिन हम उसको और बेटर करते रहेंगे करते रहेंगे करते रहेंगे और फाइनली हमको एक सेकेंड चाहिए ये हमारी इच्छा है बट सर जब तक वो नहीं होता है पेनल्टी तो हमको ही भरनी पड़ेगी ना सब सर इसका जवाब यही है क्या करोगे वही तो मैं भी आपको पूछ रहा हूँ अरे, अरे इंडियन कैपिटल मार्केट अपने हिसाब से चलेगा ना यार क्या नहीं, कर सर, यार? सब बात बराबर है आपकी सब बात बराबर है एक दिन पहले प्लेस रखे आज आज का आज माल चाहिए ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता है यार रियल लाइफ में 99% क्लाइंट का पिछले दिन का लिमिट रेट होता है ओनली 1% परसेंट क्लाइंट जो आज का आज देखे सौदा करता है मानोगे मेरी बात बराबर है मैं ठीक है तो 1% परसेंट क्लाइंट को थोड़ा अपना बिहेवियर चेंज करना पड़ेगा बॉस देखो कभी भी सौदा करना है तो पहले से देखे रख शेयरिंग प्लेज करना है मैं भाग तो जाऊंगा नहीं तेरे डिमेंट अकाउंट में पड़ा हुआ है तुम सिस्टमेटिकली क्यों नहीं चल सकते अपने लोग अपने लोग को जब अरे कुछ नहीं है हर जब हर ब्रोकर के सेम कानून होता है ना तो क्लाइंट एडजस्ट करता है हाँ वो तो ठीक है ना वो आप भविष्य आप बस आपका पॉइंट सही है मैं मना नहीं करता आपका पॉइंट गलत है बट ये हजार में एक का केस है थोड़ा सिस्टम को सुधारने के लिए थोड़ा तकलीफ होता है 
अब आप बोलोगे हजार में एक भी नहीं होना चाहिए आप बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हैं हम ऐसा बोलते ही नहीं हजार में एक भी नहीं होना चाहिए हम उतना ही बोलते हैं कि भाई जैसा तो हर चीज हमको फास्ट करना है तो हाँ। थोड़ा हम भी एक्सपेक्ट करेंगे और कुछ नहीं है सर वो ठीक है पॉइंट स्टेक वो तो मैं तो बोला एक सेकंड में चाहिए सर मैं तो अपने मैं भी ब्रोकर हूँ यार तकलीफ वो सेम फेस करता हूँ जो आप करते हो यार बट ठीक है ठीक है ओके ऑटोमेटिक रिमूव हो जाएगा रीजन कोड का लफड़ा नहीं है शॉर्टेज में नहीं आएगा शॉर्टेज में नहीं आएगा बधाई हो ओके ओके सर थैंक यू अरे कुछ और कह रहे थे राकेश जी और क्वेश्चन थी सबसे पहले तो का कोई एपीआई आने का चांसेस है सर एमसीएक्स का एपीआई में टाइम लगेगा सर सेकंड ये जो अलोकेशन अपना एक सेगमेंट में था दूसरे सेगमेंट में करना है तो अभी जितने भी क्लियरिंग कॉर्पोरेशन है सबका फाइल फॉर्मेट डिफरेंट है से फॉर एग्जांपल एनसीएल अपने को अवेलेबल और यूटिलाइज दिखा रहा है प्लस माइनस करके शॉर्टफॉल दे रहा है जबकि एनसीडीएक्स और एमसीएक्स खाली शॉर्टफॉल का फिगर दे रहा है समझ लो कि मेरे पास अगर दस क्लाइंट एमसीएक्स में है जो अलोकेट किए हैं मार्जिन यूटिलाइज है उसके सामने से अगर मेरे दस क्लाइंट शॉर्टफॉल में है तो उसके पिक के फाइल में खाली दस ही क्लाइंट आ रहे हाँ वो तो अभी एक जन, अभी जन ने वही पॉइंट बोला था ना कि रिपोर्ट में सारे आने चाहिए खाली कुछ ही आते हैं ना वो ऐसे फाइल नहीं, नहीं सारे आने भी चाहिए प्लस अवेलेबल और यूटिलाइज दोनों दिखाना चाहिए तभी तो प्रॉपर रिपोर्ट बनेगा अदरवाइज इन अभी एमसी समझ लो से फॉर एग्जाम्पल मेरे पास क्लाइंट का सौ रुपया था मैंने अस्सी रुपया ऑलरेडी अलोकेट कर दिया था राकेश आपको इंटरव्यू कर रहा हूँ थोड़ा लाइट ह्यूमर लाइट भी है लेकिन यदि अब तक चेक नहीं कर सकते इंस्पेक्शन वाले कैसे चेक करेंगे अपन नहीं नहीं उसको मतलब अपने पहले तो अपने को वो लोग तो अपने से ही पूछेंगे ना नहीं वो ठीक है हाँ वो, वो कैसे चेक करेंगे वो पूछ रहा हूँ मैं उसके लिए तो मैं बोल रहा हूँ कि अवेलेबल दिखा देना चाहिए क्लाइंट क्लाइंट का सब सर, चेक करें एक तरीका जो अपने जो फाइल लोड करते हैं ना हाँ? उसका रिस्पॉन्स फाइल आता है बराबर टाइम स्टैम के साथ आता है बराबर हमको रिक्रिएट करना पड़ेगा खुद सर यहाँ पर अलग अलग रीजन कोड है जैसे कि मैं अभी समझ लो से फॉर एग्जांपल मेरा ही एग्जांपल देता हूँ हम लोग है ना ड्यूरिंग द मार्केट एमसीएक्स में अलोकेट नहीं कर दे क्योंकि वहाँ पर फाइल भेजना है रिस्पॉन्स आएगा ये सब चीजें बहुत सारे इश्यूज है एपीआई नहीं चल रहा है उसके लिए तो वो टाइम पे मैं एनसीएल में कर रहा हूँ अभी एनसीएल में इन प्रोग्रेस दिखा दिया जब भी एम का मेरा पिक आ गया तो मुझे वहां पर एक रीजन देना है कि इन प्रोग्रेस था या एक्सेस अलोकेटेड विद एनसीएल था तो सब सेगमेंट में ऐसे करना है तो बहुत डिफिकल्ट ये सब चीजें मतलब अपन बात कर सकते हैं कि टाइम स्टेम के साथ आ रहा है पर आप रिपोर्ट कैसे करोगे ये जो रीजन कोड कल दिए हैं मतलब इतने सारे छह सात रीजन दिए हैं अब तो मेन रीजन कोड नंबर वन की बात कर रहे हो लाइन विद अदर सीसी आप मेरा नहीं नहीं आपका नहीं 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 एक्सेस कॉलेटर अवेलेबल विद अदर सीसी और इन प्रोग्रेस था अगर समझ लो के एमसीएक्स वाला क्लाइंट है मैं एनसीएल में कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि एमसीएक्स का एपीआई नहीं है ईओडी में चलो इधर से उधर मैंने कर दिया तो ये उसमें मैं कैसे दिखाऊंगा क्योंकि एक तो मैंने अलोकेटेड कर दिया था एक इन प्रोसेस था एक यहाँ जाएगा एक वहां जाएगा तो कैसे मतलब ये करेंगे सर तो सी पॉइंट इज आप सही कह रहे हो कि सीसी को फाइल देना चाहिए अपने को ठीक है क्या आपकी बात सही है नहीं ये मैं आप आप नहीं 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 मतलब आप मैं एक पॉइंट कह रहा हूँ आप जो उस पर रिएक्ट कीजिएगा मैं समझ रहा हूँ मैं अभी तो मैं समझ रहा हूँ आईडी सीसी को फाइल देना चाहिए सपोज सर इस सीसी बोलते हैं हम तुमको फाइल देने को तैयार हो तो भी फाइल बनाने में उनको महीना भर लगेगा पंद्रह दिन लगेगा नहीं 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 उत्तम जी उत्तम जी अभी आप बोलोगे 21 महीने का टाइम था तो मैं इसके के पहले की जितने भी मीटिंग है ना यूट्यूब पे चेक कर लेना हर मीटिंग में मैंने यही रिक्वेस्ट किया था जितने भी क्लियरिंग कॉर्पोरेशन है हर मीटिंग में रिक्वेस्ट किया था ऐसा नहीं है फर्स्ट टाइम आके रिक्वेस्ट कर रहा हूँ हम यूज कर सकते हैं जब हम बैठेंगे ना तो सर आप थोड़ी कमजोरी है नहीं आप बोलोगे कि आप अभी अपने पास रास्ता नहीं है तो अभी क्या करेंगे तो मैं वही बोल रहा हूँ कि हम लोग ने ऑलरेडी इक्कीस महीने से डिमांड कर रही है ये सब चीजों का इंटर ऑपरेबिलिटी मतलब सीसी का अगर समझ लो की एक सीसी का बंद हो जाता है तो दूसरे सीसी में जाना तभी लास्ट वीक में एनसीएल का एक सर्कुलर आया था लास्ट टू लास्ट वीक तो उसमें बोला था समझ लो कि अगर एनसीएल का बंद हुआ तो वो टाइम पे वो लोग आईसीसीएल का अपने को रिस्क मैनेजमेंट का सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोवाइड करेंगे साथ में एक लाइन भी लिखा था कि तुम लोग को जो अलोकेशन करना है ना वो बाद में आईसीसीएल के फॉर्मेट में पूरा अलोकेशन करना है 
तो मतलब हम लोग को दोनों का एपीआई लेके सब बनाना पड़ेगा गुड क्वेश्चन यार सास करके कुछ तो क्या है पता है ये रेयर होगा पर अपने को तो डेली बेसिस पे ये स्टैंड बाई मोड पे रहना है की डेली बेसिस पे मेरे जितने भी फाइल जनरेट हो रहे हैं या एपीआई बन रहा है वो दोनों के लिए मैं बना के रखूं खाली एक का चालू रखूं एक बंद रखूं आई एग्री आई एग्री सो वी विल विल डिस्कस इंटरनली विद सीसीज एंड सी व्हाट वी कैन डू बिकॉज़ इफ इट इज एन ओनली एन एक्सेप्शन थिंग व्हाट वी कैन डू ओके नॉट एन इशू वी हैव नॉट थॉट अबाउट इट बिकॉज़ दिस इज जस्ट गॉट इंप्लीमेंटेड एंड सच टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स विल बी देयर लॉट ऑफ फिनिशर थिंग्स विल बी देयर सो वी विल गुड पॉइंट राकेश वेट बोथ पॉइंट्स आर डैम गुड यार ओके थैंक यू भाई अवेलेबल कर so we had written uh, multiple mails to ICCL yeah. and finally we received a mail yesterday from them saying that क्या uh, record level uh, you know record level uh, details can be collected through file you have to go to portal and download the file but then if you really want to work in a real time allocation uh, you know smoothly then the API uh, for the uh, responses record level responses should be there that is a major concern uh, for us to you know going live with the i see sir can you please take a note of this uttam sir we have already noted this point uh, we have even today also we had a call with kotak we have explained them so basically in the api initiated we give them a record uh, level success failure message but the actual validation remark we alternatively give uh, give a download of response file on the external now uh, this to improve the performance of the api we had done this but with regard to other validatory remarks we are already working on it so we'll work on that optimization and we'll update the market shortly there is one more uh, uh, concern not concern in fact i would request uh, ncl and iccl to uh, give a time stamp on the uh, peak margin file so this is uh, you know very important because you know if i have to check Uh, any excess collateral was available with other CC at mm. that particular time, so uh, the time can be random, uh, different from different CCs. That's okay. I will maintain the data at my end for whatever allocation I am doing, uh, time by time. But the margin, peak margin that uh, NCL uh, considers or ICCL considers, so that precise time I need to know. Then only I can check in other CC at that time whether I had any uh, excess collateral available. So that's, that's, that's a very good point. I don't know why that timestamp is a secret. Anyway, it's random. So, sir, I'll I'll tell you. Uh, NC uh, NCDX is giving timestamp on a uh, you know uh, uh, file peak margin file. So uh, I don't think it's a big uh, ask uh, for you know to have a timestamp. Again, it it can be a random, different for different CCs. That's okay. Just give us a timestamp post publishing file. I think the CCs are scared will reverse engineer it, but that's not possible. <laughs> Anyway, CCs. I think this is again in in light of intraday uh, 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 margin verification that you are starting from May two thousand twenty three. It is very important from audit point of view, from market sanctity point of view, from everything, every point of view that you provide us uh, the timestamp. It is the fitness of things for whatever reasons. I think the uh, Uh, balance of convenience goes in favor of giving the timestamp in file कितने बजे की है so that we can uh, convince internal auditors, external auditors that we are doing a good job or the right job. Please note this suggestion from the association and its members. Thank you. Uh, Durgeshi, your question, please. 
सर एनसीएक्स ने वन एंड ने थ्री नहीं देता है शॉर्ट एलोकेशन का तो उस केस में सर शॉर्टेज कैसे मतलब एम सिक्स टीम में कोई है अभी नहीं आता सर इनका फाइल्स का टोटल स्नेप टेन आता लेकिन फाइल्स टू आती है हमको ऑल ओवर ब्रोकर को चेतन भाई विल यू टेक अप विद एम सिक्स प्लीज उनके उचित नहीं Anyways, I think CCs are here. They have heard this out. The exchanges are here. So when you have the next meeting with the uh, with regulator, you raise these issues and bring it to their attention. One last, one last. Bolli, bolli, sir. Sir, one of the RTR rounds with known cash value comes in ICC. Which is live. I am taking one leg till 8 p.m. But when short calculation is done, then I am getting 80,000. So this is marked here. ICC mail. We know that. So there is no reason for adding code to it. This is Jigar from Milli Consultants. Yeah, Jigar, just one minute. I think Durgesh Bhai is uh, still speaking. But uh, uh, Vijay, I would like to react to. Uh, uh, Durgesh, Durgesh ji, ये difference आना तो नहीं चाहिए. Past cases में आया था. We have already replied to you. But in the recent cases, I yes, still. बोला भी था penalty नहीं लगेगा. Yes, ma'am. बोला. हाँ, वो नहीं लगेगा. लेकिन recent ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है case. अच्छा, okay. ठीक है. Solve हो गया. Durgesh Bhai, solve हो गया. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. अलोकेशन uh the challenge which we are facing is that uh the the rrm mode the, from pro let's say i have i have allocated in cash and customer has traded in cc uh there is allocation pro utilization from from fo segment and if there is a huge ca- huge one you can go yeah, so the process you are following you allocate everything in cash and let the client trade in pro you have to be very rich to do that is rich uh, as such on on a lighter vein you have to have some serious working capital with yourself to do that <laughs> so that's not that i don't think is the best solution that the office is though it's very convenient but not a great for example my office theek hai for all over uh, uh, when i when i was in one software i used to give segment wise limits now it is not practical for everyone second we did is we observed the clients whether this So the, the, this client eighty percent margin is this is F O and twenty percent is cash. So allocated his capital accordingly. Okay. So then it started working out, and then we keep an eye that somebody is more utilized or we keep a real time because this fellow is utilizing too much here. Was change it intraday. That is something you have to do. You have to employ one more person to keep an eye on this or put a software to keep an eye on this. Otherwise, you won't survive. उटरेंट so the whatever replace is coming that is only getting uh, considered for fo segment so okay. even if there is a sufficient replace value a replace stock which is available with customer and that customer trades in uh, cash market or in cd 
Good utilization. Ha. That is uh, the biggest operational no, but challenge. You have, which boss, we you, have to, you have to improve your office systems. I, I'm sorry to say, but your office yeah. is being lazy. No, it is a customer's choice. A cust we are giving no, but, a single but, sir, limit to customer. Cust you are right, a customer choice. But then there's something called... The, the, you generally get an idea right, of, of your customers, how they behave. Okay, and you have to have some kind of thing. Is that half year, dollar, half year, quarter year, dollar, three quarter year, dollar segment. For if you have a million customers, I'm sure five thousand also don't trade in currency. So why yes, would you place yes, anything yes. in currency? And this people who trade in currency don't trade anything else. So that you have to you have to analyze your client behavior, or else if you don't want to, please increase your working capital infinitely, which will go worse now that bank guarantee also going away. The, mm. So you you'll have to optimize your office system. Nobody can help you because uniform segment is not coming in uh, some in, in the near future. Ideally, they should be uniform segment, but it's single segment. Single segment is not coming in the near future. I don't even think it's under discussion. Okay. So I understand your problem, sir. But sir, the solution lies in your office, not with the MIS. Okay, sir. All right. Ajika ji, your question, please. Yeah, this is Jigar from Mili Consultant. Yeah. My question is regarding uh, zero two code. Uh, suppose a uh, client ka koi collateral nahi hai, or a client ne mal sale kiya hai, to or I early pain end of the day karunga, to hmm. mere charis stock mein mere ko shortfall aayega. Ah, the zero two mein report kar do. To charo, to fir penalty nahi lagega na? Nahi lagega. Okay, thank you. Hmm. हेलो नहीं दे सकते अपने पॉकेट से करता हूँ प्रो के पैसा से करता हूँ तो उस समय सेलिंग के लिए तो प्रो का पैसा यूज हो ही जाएगा नहीं सेलिंग के लिए नहीं सपोज करो मैं आज सेल करने के बाद जो परचेज करना उसमें भी प्रो का पैसा मैं यूज करता हूँ तो प्रो का नहीं कर सर नहीं कर सकते अलाउड नहीं मतलब आप आप बहुत बढ़िया ब्रोकर हो जो क्लाइंट का पैसा यूज नहीं करते अपने पैसे से क्लाइंट नहीं अभी पेन शाम को हो जाएगा ना रात को सर कल तक ये अलाउड था परसों तक ये अलाउड था कल के सर्कुलर के बाद ये नहीं अलाउड हो गया अब एलोकेशन में फिर भी निकल जाओगे एमजी तेरा का कल का जो एनएससी का सर्कुलर है आई थिंक बीएससी का भी है उसमें क्लियरली लिखा हुआ है कि बाबू जब तक आप अर्ली पे नहीं कर देते डिपॉजिटरी में आप इसको बाय नहीं, नहीं कर सकते ठीक है मैं पूछता हूँ क्यों तकलीफ क्या है बट नहीं कर सकते अब लेकिन आपके एग्जाम्पल को मैं लेता हूँ उस बंदे का शेयर प्लेज है ठीक है तो उसके तो खूब मार्जिन है साढ़े तक तो कोई तकलीफ ही नहीं है तब करना पड़ेगा फिर मेरे को प्लेज के अगेंस्ट में अगर तो अनप्लेज साढ़े तीन के बाद करो करो सेहत करेक्ट करेक्ट मतलब सौ रुपए का माल है तो अपने को तो बीस रुपए चाहिए बीस अभी चालीस चालीस रुपए चाहिए मेरे को अस्सी अस्सी ऑलरेडी आपके पास है डेट में सर्ली पेन बंद कर दो अर्ली पेन करो रात को मतलब सब चार उससे ज्यादा मुझे उसको मत खेलने दो उस तरह का सौदा मुझे बाजार में पसंद नहीं आइडिया बुरा नहीं है देखिए लेकिन क्लाइंट ने शेयर रिप्लेस किया मतलब बंदे की ताकत है तो करने दो लेने दो बेचने दो अस्सी रुपए का माल है सामने सीएनसी मत कर इंट्रा सेल कर सर कैश पैसा तो मेरा ब्लॉक होगा ना सर अब देखो बिजनेस लेके बैठे यदि 
पोसाता तो पोसाता नहीं पोसा तो क्लाइंट से कैश मार्जिन लो आई मीन ये क्या बात हुई मतलब एक्सचेंज आपका बिजनेस रन नहीं कर सकता ये कानून है सबके लिए सेम कानून है अपने को सूट किया करो नहीं करना ठीक है खेती बाड़ी करेंगे कुछ भी करेंगे मतलब वो तो ठीक है शेयर तो पिछड़े में भी घास नहीं खाएगा कुछ ना कुछ तो कर ही लेगा सर अभी सर ने बताया था कि मैक्स ऑफ द इंट्रा शॉर्ट रिपोर्ट करना है लेकिन आईसीसी क्या करता है चालू स्नैप के फाइव देता है सर ओके गुड वो उन्होंने एनसीएल का बताया था अब आईसीसी की बात करते हैं एनसीएल आईसीसीएल कैन यू क्लैरिफाई दिस एनसीएल सेज दैट दे व्हेन दे गिव द शॉर्टेज फाइल वी हैव टू टेक द मैक्स ऑफ द व्हाटएवर दे विल गिव वन नंबर एंड वी हैव टू रिपोर्ट वो उसका क्या स्टोरी है आईसीसीएल इज द सेम प्रोसेस और वी हैव टू गिव फोर अपलोड्स नो देयर इज वन कंसोलिडेटेड फाइल व्हिच इज बीइंग प्रोवाइडेड ऑन टी प्लस वन डे एंड द रिपोर्टिंग हैज टू बी डन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट फाइल सो द एंटायर यू विल टेक द मैक्स ऑफ द स्नैपशॉट्स The uh, inter number? No, it is basically uh, each snapshot details are provided in that file. So we have to respond to all to of them. Respond, you need to respond to all of them. So the ICCL is a different process. Her inter shot ka alag response hoga. Uh, NCL is different process. Or single response mangi. One Max more thing. Th- one more thing, sir. But very Agar... good point, Jambu ji. Ah, uh, matlab jo bhi aap aapki bahut acha point raise kiya. Sabke benefit ke liye acha information milgi. वन मोर थिंग सर अगर सपोज कीजिए कि किसी क्लाइंट का अर्ली पेन भी है हमने एक्सचेंज में एलोकेट भी किया हुआ है अलग अलग रीजन कोड है तो सबका रीजन कोड कैसे देंगे हम अब देख आपका मैं सवाल नहीं समझो आप कोई नंबर से बात करें तो आसान हो जाता है सर सपोज सपोज कीजिए सपोज कीजिए कि हमारा एफेंडो मार्जिन लग एफेंडो मार्जिन क्लाइंट को सौ रूपए एलोकेट किया हुआ है सपोज हाँ ठीक है अब आगे बोलिए और कैश में एलोकेट किया कैश में लोकेट किया हुआ है उसने कहा एमसीएक्स में लोकेट किया हुआ है चलो एमसीएक्स में क्लाइंट का सौ रुपया आपने एलोकेट किया एलोकेट किया हुआ क्लाइंट ने क्या किया कि सौ रुपए का माली बेचा है माली बेचा है ठीक है अर्ली पेन भी हो गया अब क्या हुआ कि उसका जो शॉर्ट एलोकेशन आया शाम को हाँ। तो उसमें अर्ली पेन का रीजन भी देना है मुझे और अदर सीसी का भी पैसा देना दोनों में से जो रीजन देना है आप दे दो आपके पास चॉइस मतलब ये हो सकता है अब अब बोले कि इसका सौ रुपया शॉर्ट है पचास वहां था पचास यहाँ अच्छा ऐसा बटा हुआ है So can yeah. I give two reason codes for different amounts? Uh, can ICCL throw some light on this? Um, member will have to upload the, the same entry twice uh, with two separate reason codes. Okay, and amount will be same, full amount. Uh, amount will be same. Uh, basically, for the excess yeah. with other CC, he has to put the actual amount in the column. Huh. While uh, for the other reason code, he, he just needs to, full- to put the reason code. Full amount, but, basically but, full. Amount. But in the case of early pen, there is no need to uh, put up the amount. Currently, no. there is no need to put up an amount. Yes. Ah. Then the early pen is full. How will it be? Then the CC will not be required. Sir, point is early pen is the full. Is 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 full. और दो लाइन जब जनरेट करेंगे दूसरा सीसी वाले में अमाउंट जाएगा अली पेन में अमाउंट नहीं जाएगा बट आपके से दोनों पॉइंट बहुत ही अच्छे थे बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट थे आईसीसी मेंबर्स के लिए बहुत अच्छा फीडबैक है सो थैंक यू सो मच सर रियली अप्रिशिएट हाँ मूविंग कल्पेश भाई योर क्वेश्चन प्लीज कल्पेश भाई दिस इज नॉट ए क्वेश्चन दिस इज अडबैक यू नो वेन रेगुलेटर है इम्प्लीमेंटेड दिस मार्जिन रेगुलेशन होल पर्पज वॉज टू एनालाइज If you have not collected appropriate margins, but now you know, I recently it happened with me. It's a very interesting case whereby you know a client was having margins in crores, and suddenly after four four you know in one one fine day I received he has a shortfall. I received a notice whereby the penalty has been charged from five percent. When I went back and checked why the penalty has been charged from five percent, I came to know that there was a shortfall of three paisa, five paisa, one paisa due to rounding of differences. and they have accounted for these first 3 days and you know when the actual shortfall happened that was a fourth day and that's why the 5% penalty has been charged so as <laughs> ke- kalpesh bhai ye very good point we software to software hai garbage in garbage out ek paisa bhi short because aaj ke date mein there are so many softwares that are working because a single back office software is not perfect mera mera me- me- experience ye hai ki aise koi specially unique cases ho jate hain जब अपने सीसी को पॉइंट आउट करते हैं बस ये मैटर वो है तो सीसी काफी लीनियंट व्यू लेती है 
तो यदि उट But sir, do do drop in a mail to brokers forum and we'll try to uh, sure uh, the the take a case forward. Chetan Bhai uh, uh, runs the support desk of BBF, so आपके भी आप पे हम एक पिस्तो करेंगे बाकी तो जो होना है होगा। Right, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Junaid ji, your question, please. Junaid ji. And it's uh, just a uh, uh, warning, uh, Max. We have another ten minutes where you can take questions. I don't think there are enough questions left. We have tried to answer everyone, but we'll, we'll, we'll wait, wait for another few minutes if somebody has any questions. If there are none, in that case, uh, uh, again on behalf of Bombay Stock Exchange Broker, so I think Kishore ji. So, so uh, one question is there. Sorry to bother. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, Kishore Ramavad ji, ji, would you like to give a word of thanks after that? Please do let me know. Now, Ramavad ji. Ramavad ji, please your question, please. Uh, Ramavad ji, please unmute yourself. Uh, Ashish ji, your question, please. No, I don't. Kishore, so over to you, sir. Sorry. Yes. Kishore ji, any points? No, nothing specific. I think we should thank uh, CCs for doing this uh, excellent job of covering all the exception which we are painting us too much. Almost they have they have covered almost all the pain points. in this circular now nothing left except one thing of that uh, 80% against <laughs> advance co allocation but that that will take some time if at all um, uh, regulator is convinced but otherwise all the pain points are resolved in this uh, revised circular so hopefully uh, the roll out should be smooth this time yes please thank you again uh, bbf the circular scheme yesterday bbf came out with us uh, webinar at a very short notice we reached out to mis mis were so kind to say boss important issue hai hum itne notice pe bhi aayenge they have joined thank you all the exchanges i thank you all the clearing corporations for their support in the all the investor uh, all the investor kya bolta education <laughs> uh, activities that bbf undertakes really appreciate uh, and we have been, we have tried to answer the questions to the extent possible some answers were not like it ye ye nahi jin suna chahte hain wala answer de jo main suna chahta hu har baar aisa nahi hota koshish to hum karte hain and uh, this is a learning uh, and sharing for us so thank you everyone appreciate have a good evening.